Hello everybody, my name is Alphonse Zeus, and welcome to another episode of Evolving Tuesday, aka Xbox 360 Gameplay. Now pretty much the game that I'm going to go dive in right now is going to be Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, this series holds a near and dear place to my heart. I love it. Uh, and, you know, I, like, I still remember when I was playing it when I was little, even though it was rated M, but still it was a lot of fun. Um, I guess like since I had some trouble trying to find online rank matches when I played earlier, I'm probably just going to do an arcade playthrough. I know I haven't done uh, any of those in a while. So let's get started. Now, in terms of characters, um, in Mortal Kombat, my mains are usually Cyrax and Melina. Although I do like using, um, let's see, Jade. I like also using uh, uh, Scorpion sometimes. Uh, that would be like maybe my top four. Alright, let's go with the ladder. Okay, let's go Cyrax. We're going with the MK3. Cyrax. Let's go hard. Alright, so I guess uh, if I have to put on that skill level, I'm pretty decent. Oh, we start off with Kenshi. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I, like I still remember, I was like so into this. Like even like after a few months, came out playing like all the time, especially with the DLC characters. Too. So good. Alright, let's do this. That's the bread and butter, man. Oh, that was so bad. I can't believe I just like saying, Oh, I'm gonna do X ray. He's gonna, he won't block it, right? Oh, it's on hard mode. <laughs> Anyways, like, um, pretty much we're in kind of the aftermath. Like, Evo ended, you know, just recently, and still a lot of people are talking about it. Everything from, like, you know, the very hype, you know, King of Fighters 13 to, uh, you know, Shannon Dickerfon's performance in, you know, Soul Calibur 5. Filipino champ taking, you know, Ultimate Marvel and Perfect Legend going twice in a row as EVO champion for Mortal Kombat. And I gotta admit, this 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 year's EP was definitely more hyper, and I hate that stomp. There we go. Oh, why did I cancel? Oh my god. Really? It's always interesting. No, you're not doing this, I'm doing so. Now it's bad. Nope. I got you. Oh man. You know, it's like, the first Mortal Kombat game I ever played was, um, uh, turned out to be Mortal Kombat Trilogy PS4. It was actually like one of the best games I've ever played on. Oh, oh my god. I don't know that There 
There you go, that's my wall combo. Makes up for a throw. Actually, can I play the trilogy? There you go. Uh, like... I remember I played Jade and Jax a lot in Mortal Kombat trilogy. I still remember, like, the ladders. I only beat the ladders once. And that was with Jax. Cause like, um, I remember I was playing Liu Kang in like, uh, ladder. And I got to, to Motaro, and I just completely sucked against him. So I was like, you know what? Cause I watched the movie Mortal Kombat Annihilation, as bad of a movie as it was. And I was like, Jax beats Motaro, let me try this. And then, I managed to beat Motaro with Jax, and then I moved on to beat Shao Kahn. I was thinking, wow, I actually quit it for the first time, this is awesome! But I didn't know Fatality in that game at all. Like, if anything, in Mortal Kombat Trilogy, I love the brutalities. So much more because you just have to combo and you just hear the screams and then like uppercut equals exploding body. It's so awesome. I wish they put brutalities in here. I'd actually prefer that to a lot more than bay bay brutalities. Oh god, I still have a pain there. Alright. Oh, I gotta do that sweep. Oh, I'm trying to go fancy. Oh, thank god. Oh, man. Thank god I got on that one. I still remember, like, in Mortal Kombat 4, though. Man, I think it was Reiko that had that uh, cannonball move. Oh, that was Jarek, Jarek. Oh, never mind. Uh, that was weird. Oh, wow. I didn't see that. <laughs> oh, you that. that teleport is not safe. Oh god, I got me that strong. Oh, no, no, no. Gotcha. <laughs> like, I guess the habit of me in fighting games is pretty much just saving up my meter for like that one big attack and just gamble that shit. Uh, there we go, now you got the close mentality. I mean, I like the net fatality a lot more than um, this close up. The only problem is, like, when they see the fatality, it reminds me of the first Resident Evil movie, where that guy got hit by that net and he just goes to all those pieces. And so I was thinking, oh, is there supposed to be a lot more pieces on the ground than, like, uh, after Sykes hit with the net? But, I mean, that's all good. That's still like that fatality. Oh, there's Nightwolf. Oh, man. I. I don't know, Nightwolf is probably one of my least favorite characters in the series. Like, he's alright and stuff, I just, you know... I don't know, it's like his his fighting style and... I don't know, I guess personality doesn't really appeal to me. Alright, let's get in here. That charge. Ooh, that was... Oh my god, that's such a good angle here. Oh wow, I jumped into that? <laughs> Can't get that net. I gotta admit, this stage is great reworking from uh, the old Mortal Kombat. Man. I think it's all like the stage in, um. Oh wow, that was weird. The stage in uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy I played, it seemed a lot more dead than this one. Now, wake up. Oh, 
Oh wow, I missed it. Wow. Well, any you guys played the like the old Mortal Kombat games, like you know trilogy, even two and one. Like I, I, it was pretty cool that you know they they launched the old Mortal Kombat like online on the Xbox Live Arcade and the uh, PS Store. Or whatever the online store is for Sony. Uh, I'm just really glad they managed to bring back the old ones. I guess like when I really got into Mortal Kombat was definitely when Deadly Alliance came out because that marked like the beginning of a new era. Like, cause in Mortal Kombat 4, apparently the game wasn't even finished yet, and they and they released it. I didn't know what to say about that. I really thought maybe if they spent a little bit more time, they could have made it a lot better. But you know what? Okay, if they want to do that, that's you know you just gotta use it. Just gotta, just gotta do it. Meet deadlines. So, oh my god, that was so Oh, that was Nope. Really? I think Oh, wow, that was insane. <laughs> you got nothing else to run to. There you go. I gotta admit, like, it, when I first got the game and I went online, I saw a lot of smoke players out there. Because they keep abusing that, uh, that teleport. It's, that they don't, it's like they don't even know that teleport can be easily punishable and, you know, it can be really, like, screwed up. Gotcha. <laughs> I was like forming these fatalities. Um, I guess getting back to like the whole classical thing, Deadly Alliance was pretty awesome. Deception was probably the high point of Mortal Kombat. Because Deception introduced like a lot of stuff with the story. Like in Deadly Alliance they had that little like you know journey thing where it evolves you as a fighter. But in Deception you had like this incredible story about one of these, you know, up and comings. I think it was Shujinko. I like I couldn't help but be very amazed by like, you know, that story and how they evolved the character so much that he can fit so well into the Mortal Kombat storyline. 